students you are most welcome again anyways uh, here we will learn about translation and transcription in a simple note we will learn about central dogma so take a keen look to this so these proteins oh my head is formed into the body how they are formed this is not like a simple pathway for pro a production of protein it is a whole process a complicated you may say process for the production of protein itself and it occur in a sequence that is what we are going to learn in this part central dogma how proteins are formed from the dna and how rnas are involved in that but before that i would like to tell you what actually central dogma is so central dogma it has been explained in this picture this picture indicates central dogma that dna it gives instruction for the production of rna and then rna it gives information for the production of protein and that is what central dogma is how they are related ultimately protein has to form so uh, i can define so what how we can define central dogma is the unidirectional flow of information for the production of protein itself this is what central dogma the term central dogma it was given by the scientist crick and it proposes that there is unidirectional flow and central dogma of protein synthesis it was explained by jacob and monad uh, for the protein synthesis itself this is what central dogma detailed study of the central dogma it was done by nirenberg mathai and khurana and then there is one more thing reverse transcription i am saying that dna it is giving information protein is getting formed and then internally rna is formed but sometime from rna dna is formed the formation of the dna from rna it is known as reverse transcription it was explained by temin and baltimore in the uh, in a virus name is rous sarcoma virus and that's why it is known as teminis i'm writing over here teminis this term we used for reverse transcription the process of reverse transcription it has been shown in this picture that this is viral dna dna if you have heard about how hiv virus act the process is reverse transcription reverse transcriptase enzyme is involved in it and then dna is formed from the uh, viral dna rna is formed and is one more thing sorry from the rna dna is formed and one more thing the dna that is from formed from rna is known as c dna complementary dna and uh, sometime the dna it moves in between genome and these this dna is known as retroposons retroposons oncogenes types of oncogene are right which keep on moving and that is what reverse transcription and that is what a brief introduction about central central dogma so we are going to learn how rna is getting formed from dna and how protein is getting formed from rna one more thing the process of formation of uh, rna from dna is known as transcription i hope you can see words color if it is both are dark that's why and this process other process it is translation so in this part we will learn about two process transcription and translation in detail so